Hello, here we are, live with 1111. Hello, beloved ones. Here we are, it's November 11th, 1111, and I will be your guide for this 90 minute journey on an ongoing <clears throat> New Earth tribe. Metatronic numbers on these master numbers. I particularly love these master numbers. And I am Anjalia, your favorite cosmic shaman. And I love to do these because I'm a gatekeeper. And as a gatekeeper, I feel like it's my responsibility to help us move through this ascension so that we can easily move out of the old and into the new. It's my greatest pleasure and honor to be a guide for the ascension and for each soul as we move into the higher dimensions and i'm here to bring heaven to earth and i'm sure you're here to bring heaven on earth and we're going to do this thing so also i'm an embodied channel i become embodied by these beautiful enlightened beings that are amazing and it's this um, expression of multi-dimensionality that I call myself a cosmic shaman and um, I'm a healer and a journeyer and by being a seer it turns out I can go backwards and forwards in timelines and I can journey through time space and dimension and it's my deep creative joy that I get to help us open up our flames our um, I am Christed flame it's called help with the um, the teams that are helping me the ascended teams that are coming in and they'll be connected to our group consciousness so each journey is a journey that we move through personal um, issues and also as a collective merkaba will be gaining power as because the more we can do greater work together in a group merkaba and so I'm particularly thrilled to be here with you to join in our collective consciousness because it's really about as we reach a higher consciousness within ourselves, we become the Christed, we become, I put on my website, um, the Hopi prophecy, we are the ones we are waiting for and you are the one you've been waiting for. And so this is all the work that I'm doing is really just bringing you back to that. Who it is you've been waiting for is you. So how do we find you? And that's what we'll be doing together with Metatron, with Mother Earth, and with um, the Holy Mother. And this work is for those people who are seekers, initiates, starseeds, seers, gatekeepers, lightworkers. We want you on board. We want you accelerated. We want you activated. And we want you helping others. So it's a great um, honor to be together. And... Um, Let's begin. It's 5.01. Hopefully, we, I can never figure out if other people are here yet, but that's fine. And hopefully, um, um, I think I am being recorded. So this is a particularly exciting um, master number, 1111. And it's, it's one of these numbers that you probably see all the time for years and years, like I have. And it's almost like every few minutes during the day i'm looking at the clock and then it's a, it's a master number like 11 11 12 12 2 2 3 3 5 5 they're all different meanings of different things but the 11 11 is particularly exciting because it's it's a direct reflection and um, 11 11 is also metatron's stargate and the the two it's like two pillars and also um this master number, it, it's, it's about what it is before you, like that reflection, that obvious reflection, this direct mirroring. <clears throat> I'm going to actually remind you to drink a lot of water, and I'm going to need to drink a lot of water. Because we really have to lubricate all the synapses <laughs> and our meridians for this work. So when you look into your life as a reflection 
of your spiritual nature. That's kind of what we're doing here. It's this next evolution of you stepping more and more and more out of the 3D and into the higher realms of your consciousness, but also at the same time, we're moving into the lower chakras, the lower realms. And so we're really marrying the higher with the lower, which is exactly um, the Sri Yantra um, and also the Merkaba that we work with because it's, how can I explain this? It is the sacred geometry of what we're doing in Ascension. And so the more you work with this immense power of the Metatronic cube and the Metatronic um, tree of life, you are doing the ascension work basically. Um, so it's like the as above, below, as below, as inside, as outside. And you are the one, oh, I wrote this up. You are the one you've been waiting for. So you're a reflection as a master. And somewhere in each of you, you've been wanting to find this mastery. It's this drive that's going on right now. And this drive is, is seated deep inside of you. And it's something that's, that's, it will not stop. It's like a flame of this greater desire that's becoming more and more passionate. And um, it, it, what it is, it's reflecting your soul's divinity. And that is the prize. And something that's been, it's very interesting with this election, we're, we're at a crescendo of our ascension plan. And with the elections, we've just pushed the balance of what is to come. And it's like, it feels to me, I was so exhausted after the elections. It was like, I don't even listen to them, but I, I just energetically, I'm attuned to the collective consciousness, but we've pushed through almost like a membrane is what it feels like this, like that we had to birth. Um, uh oh, someone's not seeing me. Let me just check in here because someone says they're not seeing me. Let me make sure I did it. Not. We should be streaming. Well, I don't know what to say. Okay, so I'm just going to continue hoping that you're there on Facebook with me. I'm going to look. Okay, I think I'm there. So, I hope everyone's not on my other page, my other Facebook page. Well, so here we are talking about 1111, this master code of divine reflection. Um, and it's also a, a, a significant number of mastery and, and meeting your own divine knowing and representing your reflection of this divine nature in you. And that you're the master of your own destiny and developing more and more soul embodiments and inner guidance. So what we're going to be doing today as usual is releasing a lot of the old that's no longer needed 
and breathing into, you're going to be connecting with your alchemy breath into your flame that's ignited and in your heart. And you're going to be breathing into that flame, igniting it with an inhale, with your alchemy breath and releasing with your exhale, that which is not serving you. And so by you doing this alchemy breath, you are in a way saying, yes, yes, I want to evolve. Yes, I want to let go. And I'm surrendering to divine will. I'm surrendering to my God self. And this is super important in a very simple, practical way, because everything here is an invitation and you have to say yes from within your own will. And the whole project is really to return to that Christed nature of your own will, reflecting your connection to source and understanding the reflection of everything in the dark and in the light. It's all the same. It connects to the divine. So you may even like need to burp or kind of gag and that's great and that's fine. It's part of the work. You may kind of pass out and you, but you're going to keep vibrating with the resonance of um, this session and holding all that you are. So in this journey, we're going to be seeing everything as it is in our life as part of ourselves. So this is part of your journey as a new earth shaman is that seeing everything as part of this journey, that there is the ascension of the earth involved here. It's not crazy. It's not, I mean, even the chaos has a divine connection and it's a, it's a great opportunity for really <laughs> learning to be creative with the flow. And I always say it's like learning to be a surfer and seeing that even if things are not going your way, that that's part of something telling you that's not the right way. And as you move more and more, you learn that your heart is, is your director. And that heart is the, the clarity that you want to live by. And the heart is the thing that has the wisdom that we're looking back um, to receive. And this clarity that's so important in this 1111 gateway is to be centered, to be stable, and to be still. And just as looking in the reflective pool in the stillness, there you are. And there's clearly, maybe almost too clearly. And in this clarity, you may find the shadow aspects of yourself and your journey with them is to like witness them with loving compassion, honor them, any, all of your shadow side, all of that darkness, because it is also part of you and part of source. And once we do that, it merges and marries in these gateways. We come to these parts of ourselves and in these gateways as a gatekeeper, we merge and marry and we help you through that, that membrane, like the birthing membrane into the next level, into a deeper understanding of the process. So this is a time to be tremendously compassionate, be tremendously real, tremendously transparent, and ultimately for any and all that are in your life in this present moment, we are really stepping into what is I call our avatar. And I love that word. It's a word we Americans don't really understand and it's not just the movie, but it's our ascended consciousness that houses our light bodies. And the avatar is the part of ourselves that it's already knowing, it's already whole, it's already multidimensional. So when we call in this part of ourselves, it's going to have the recognition. And it's not just to be an a angel only or only be good. It's to be alive and present and really connected and anchored with the earth. And so something we're going to be doing today is connecting everyone to, um, to Mother Earth. And so as you really burn and, and flame in your I am flame, you can burn away things. You can bring in a violet flame, the St. Germain violet flame, and burn any shadow or darkness also. Not in a bad way burn it, but it's like transmuting it. And the transmutation is, is like a glorious kind of a, um, more like a alch alchemical, really, transformation of something into what it truly is. 
There's something that we always work with is the field around us. And you'll, you'll notice that the field is going to start gaining more and more of um, a higher and higher vibration as we work. And we're going to build, we'll be letting go, and then we'll build and build and build the frequency. And we'll build until we start receiving um, the activations from um, our ascended guides. And um, they'll be bringing us things that we are going to cherish their and their wisdom knowledge and their frequency knowledge and vibrational knowledge you may not understand it so much as it's really more of an empowerment that just you'll have the knowingness of the resonance that this is what you want this is what you need and these are codes the 1111 is a gateway ascension portal and these are codes that you're going to be receiving Alrighty, so I'm just going to start our transmission and just take a drink of water. And breathe in deeply. And I always use some essential oils. As you know, I'm a geranium lover. And just breathing that in. And it goes right into the olfactory and into the pineal gland and opens up the higher chakras. So let us send our heart beams to one another, beloved ones. Opening up a beautiful heart portal around us. Just breathing in until it begins to grow larger and larger. And now let us go below and open an earth portal beneath us. Just opening this portal. As you connect to your pillar of light that you are growing deeply into Mother Gaia, opening and expanding this earth portal, as now we go above you to open a spiritual portal above you, opening and expanding with your breath, your pillar of light. And opening the pillar of the spiritual portal above us. Beautiful. As we call in the Holy Mothers, Great Mothers, we call in the Holy Fathers, Great Fathers, Creator, Great Creator, all that there is. Mother, Father, God, Goddess, Gaia, Sophia, Divine Child, we call upon you now. As we call in the higher selves and divine presences, of all that is here, all that will be seen in this webinar. And we call in the divine presence and the higher selves of all those in our New Earth tribe. Expanding, expanding, expanding. And growing our heart ever greater. Breathing into the center of your heart flame now, into the threefold flame. This Christ that I am flame that is eternal. The pink flame of love. The blue flame of creation and power. The golden flame of wisdom. The Holy Trinity. And all this is working within you as we call to our special emissary team to your special emissary teams to your lineages your mother and father lineages 
to the Holy Mothers, to the Holy Fathers, to the Solar Fathers above, bringing down their light through you, through the libraries of light, through your chakra system, into your heart, spiraling down into the earth star beneath you, into Mother Earth, and connecting with your umbilical cord. Into Mother Earth's womb, connecting yourself with this umbilical cord, this umbilicus, reconnecting it. So you begin to resonate with Mother Gaia's heartbeat, with your own heartbeat, beloved ones. And that this attunement of your umbilicus is essential as it is so needed to ground you into this important phase of our ascension plan as we become the new stewards of the new earth we must listen to the earth once more as the indigenous elders have always as the elementals and the fae and the magical beings listen as we invite and we invoke the inner earth and the middle earth realms to be part of our Merkaba, the heavenly realms, the starships, the Ashtar Command, the Galactic Federation, the Company of Heaven to join our sessions journeys our 1111 gateway as we begin to spiral more and more allowing yourself to deeply connect again with mother Gaia and ground now with her to receive through this umbilical cord the emerald codes of earth this receiving as the Holy Mother and Mother Earth come together as we begin to build our Merkaba our light ship with Metatron Feeling a sense of the sacred geometry begin to build. And a sense of a type of geometric container. That is being felt almost like you're an electric spaceship. You're connected and attuned to Mother Earth. Receiving nutrition, sustenance from Mother Earth, all that you need into your Merkaba. And your Merkaba is like a, an ark. As there are many animals and plants inside your Merkaba, many species that you are personally carrying through this gateway is your personal part of this great new ark, this covenant of the new earth ark.
And as we breathe this arc is also each one of our Merkabas becoming the greater ship of light that is also this arc. But as you breathe, we're creating this Merkaba ship with our group consciousness. Keep expanding your hearts as your hearts are part of this dynamic as you must continue to embrace not only your own family, your own animals, and the animals and species that you're connected to through your lineage, your star lineage, your earth lineage, your magical being lineage, your guardian, your new earth guardian lineage. But also you must expand your heart to encompass the compassion of all the other beings that are here, all the sentient beings as we are creating and co-creating something new. We're doing such a beautiful job. We're going to be moving. I'm going to be singing with a voidal black drum now to this opening of our hearts and the opening of this great ship that we're co-creating. As this is part of A greater plan for the earth, beloved ones. This is a language of light. It's multidimensional. It carries you. Real, real. Mother, let us not 
There's a beautiful waterfall before us that is made of the great tears of all the sadness and the traumas of the past, of the many generations of this earth, of the previous falls of the great golden eras. This great waterfall is washing, purifying, with codes of light of 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, heart into a circle like a sphere around your heart that has a globe that is a crystal globe and in it is a purpley pink vaporous interior of this globe that is your heart And in this is this alchemy, this magic, this mystery. That something new is arising. That out of all this change and this chaos, this pandemic, this going inward, going to nature, that's alchemically moving this vaporous sphere and it's all around the heart chakra just breathing in as we see and we wait to find what is happening what this is we are shown by God There's like an unveiling here that is anticipated. 
It's something that's rejuvenating within you. Something that's like an elixir. It's coming from nature. Feeling it in your right masculine pillar. That as we move through this cleansing process of balancing the masculine and the feminine, there's something new that we're working with in this globe. It's something that is coming from the masculine, coming to the masculine, to fulfill the masculine as the masculine steps aside in the way the power was being sourced previously in the last 5,000 years of our evolution. And in this globe, we are alchemically stimulating this resurgence of this new, especially in the knees, in the integration chakra, in the sacrum, in the creation chakras, outside of the hips, in the sacrum itself, in the sexual organs, in the perineum, the base chakra. And in the perineum, we're moving and letting go like a cleansing in the perineum and in the, the base of the tailbone and then the anus. Most like we're just dropping a doorway of our spaceship, of this sphere, and just allowing junk, like junk, whatever that means, junk to let go. That it's moving out. And we're just allowing that to be transmuted transformationally by Mother Earth, that she knows what to do with it. It's not like we're polluting, as she's a master. And it's like we're doing a master cleanse, she's saying. And she's holding us and abiding us. And as we're cleansing, we're dropping this for not only ourselves, but for all that we are connected to. And for the collective consciousness, those that are ready, those that are willing, and those that are able. And this is a great time that we have this opportunity to be given permission to be held by Metatron, Mother Earth, and the Holy Mother. To let go. To clear all past karma. Let go of any old ego structures of the masculine. So that the masculine has what he needs for the new masculine to appear. And that the masculine within each of us, that it may receive in this reflection of the masculine reflected in the feminine, the feminine reflected in the masculine. These two pillars that are part of your pillar. And your pillar is a reflection of the your own God consciousness. And our Merkaba is a reflection of all. And it's multifaceted, diamond, reflective geometry. And so in this crystal ball at the heart, we're still moving it inside our Merkaba that's connected to our group Merkaba. Simultaneously, multidimensionally, we're building 
a greater understanding of what it's going to be in the future. A greater understanding of moving through this gateway into a higher evolved nature. And seeing even all those that are in opposition of our own views, that they have a different view. And they may be seeing ours as a different view. But there, this is the time of this great reflection. That it's time to not judge, no longer have hierarchy. But to continually see the reflection, see the reflection, see the honoring and the owning of that which is in front of you. And learning just to breathe into your flame, no matter if it's a good, bad, or ugly. Breathing into your flame and igniting that which you are of where you are, where you choose to be, where your consciousness wants to live. And you become very buoyant, very resilient in this capacity to accept and love and honor because you will be accepted and loved and honored equally as well. And all that's been happening is showing us so dramatically where we need to go. And so clear. And the more and more light workers come on board, we begin to glow, exchange smiles in our hearts and in our eyes. And we know that things are moving in this heart direction and that as our heart grows our mastery grows our sense of feeling complete and whole acceptable appreciated And just as Lord Master Metatron comes to us now with his great wings open, your own wings begin to open. This beautiful winged nature, this angelic or archangelic nature of you begins to open that is your avatar self. As we're continuing to work with this beautiful crystal ball in front of your heart, inside your heart, in back of your heart, around your heart. With the pink and the purple vapors just transmuting, transforming, alchemicalizing, and creating something new together. And now as we expand and open our view, we can see that each one of you has your own pink sphere in front of you. And it's in the ship, like we're in this great spaceship, beautiful spaceship that's exquisite in the sacred geometry, yet it's shiny and reflective, diamond-like. And each one has these beautiful balls in front of them. And each one is in your own captain chair, your ascension seat, your throne. And this ball that we each have inside this amazingly gorgeous ship, the ship of light, is like our driving wheel. And it's connected and attuned to each of the other ones telepathically and through our hearts. And in the center is this waterfall we spoke of. It's in the center. It's like DNA strands and code 
just moving and, and it's almost like so beautiful that you want to cry. And so we stare and glaze, gaze into this beautiful waterfall while we're working, still holding kind of like a Reiki ball, this ball of light, this alchemical sphere that Metatron has given us. That's our steering wheel. Gazing into this waterfall with your heart open. I'm asking the consciousness, what is the consciousness of this waterfall? And it's such an incredible consciousness, it's hard for me to describe it because it's, my heart wants to cry as it connects to everything, to the, to the mother, to the father, to the knowledge, to the libraries of light, to the halls of Amenti. It connects to all to the pyramid at Giza. It connects to all the portals of the earth, to all the communication. It connects to the inner earth and the middle earth. It connects to the Shambhala realms, to the eternal realms. And all of the codes of each human being, each each new earth human is also held here. So it's an extreme download of potential understanding. And as we stand here with our balls and our angelic wings, in front of this massive consciousness of the waterfall. Metatron is saying that you may ask your own personal message and send it from your heart to this waterfall and ask to receive the codes of light that are meant for you. To ask your deepest questions and to know from deep within you, from your wisdom, the answers. So give yourself a few moments to ask this deep question and breathe into, especially in the back of your heart, into the unconscious, into anything that's uncomfortable. Breathe into it and breathe it out and ask any question that's important to you into the waterfall and ask to receive the codes through your crown chakra when you're ready in divine timing. And they say that this is a practice that you can begin. And it has a type of a cadence to it. Where you must open your heart. You must ask from a sincere place. A humble place. Wait to receive. And trust that you will receive. And so now behind 
Metatron is Mother, Holy Mother. With great arms embracing us. Great Mother arms and a Great Mother bell skirt. That's moving over the earth. And it's showering upon the earth. These mother codes. And it just as it is raining in the East Coast in the United States, just like the waterfall. The Great Mother is raining codes upon the earth. These codes of the Divine Nurturance and the Holy Mother that is giving, giving, giving. And that you, as an emissary, can also take this time to send your codes of love to all those that are loved by you, all the children, all the animals, the earth, all aspects of your multidimensionality to any important project, to the politics, to the structures of the medical system, of the financial systems, of the giving and receiving, of the guardianship of the earth, and the knowing that we have what we need, that is supplied and fulfilled once more, that this is the plan, that we're creating this anew, as our sphere of light, our Merkaba ball, this violet pink chamber in the sphere is growing larger and larger. Boof. And now this, all of our own spheres are getting so large that they're merging into one great sphere that's moving into the center of our spaceship and into the waterfall. So that this great plan that we are creating, we're co-creating together, is being washed and purified and downloaded by these codes from this holy waterfall of the eternal realms that holds all of creation. And that together we have made an immense stride for humanity, that we've created something new in this ball, this crystal ball of alchemy, of magic. Of the untold future. That we can sit with a smile inside our hearts and on our faces and feel this sense of inner pride that we've done our part, we've done a piece of creating this Merkaba, this 1111 gateway. And we rose in our consciousness to meet any reflection, to honor it, to build in our greater and greater heart connection. A unifying field with this unifying sphere of love, of harmony, of peace. That this sphere is growing
through our love as it's downloading these codes of 1111. of divine reflection. And now it's beginning to become so large that it's moving beyond and we're part of it. But it's moving outside of us now, this giant sphere of this cosmic potentiality, the alchemy, that we're co-creating of this harmonious plan. And it's beginning to move downwards very slowly. As it is being birthed from our great ship of light. with the help of Metatron. And the mothers. As now my unicorn rainbow mother team, the mothers creation unicorns who work with the birthing portals Help us to birth through that membrane we spoke of that we didn't realize how it would birth. You birth this giant sphere of alchemical potentiality, this divine reflection and harmony through the birthing portal of our ship of light. Moving extremely slowly through the density of the three dimension through the membrane that this will be a very slow birthing process. We'll take 17 hours that we will set it in motion. As it moves through the gateway and continues through the next 17 hours It's rite of passage, moving through the density of the earth, and gently combining with the earth. Like an overlay of the great promise that all places that were previously forbidden are gently released, dissolved as this sphere of alchemy is being received by the new earth. And the rainbow unicorn mothers around us create a great pool like a giant lake that the sphere
will reflect in, merge with, become one. As it will move into the lake at Lake Titicaca, the sacred lake in Peru, Bolivia. And it will move and merge with its divine partner, the golden disk that has been kept there, the sun disk. If this is an extremely high place of sacred resonance at Lake Titicaca. With the sun disk in the Isle of the Sun. And now we know why Grandmother Moon came into our journey earlier in the journey as Grandmother Moon and the Isle of the Moon, the feminine, begin to resonate, vibrate. And the moon shines upon the sun disk inside the Great Lake with our sphere that is joined merged and married, containing the masculine, the feminine, and this alchemy that we together brought through. The merging and the marrying that reflects in all reflections its profound innocence, its divine light, its divine love, and its divine creation. That this is the truth of the power create itself as one, to know itself as thou. Being exquisitely honored, held in a new gateway of reflection, a new gateway of self-mastery. of wholeness. That all things are a divine reflection, a divine resonance. And the symbiotic child, mother or father, That together we are birthing an embryonic state that's the embryonic state of unity consciousness. Just as the Mamos of Columbia showed us the state of the embryonic Mamo that is the connected Return of the Guardian. The Keeper of the Earth Plane. That holds the heart of Mother Earth as its own. And 
And now as the indigenous elders join us, they dance around. And the mamos of Colombia rejoice with us. that we have come here to seed, to father, to mother, a new generation encoded with this light, this love, this creation power that will not harm one another. As we sit now in the stillness, in this great river of the eternal realms, flooding through you, flooding, flooding through us. and the silence that is impeccable. The stillness. As now this plasma frequency fills the space around you receiving filling so you have all you need so you may share all you have and know you are also receiving As now a great doorway opens. And this 1111 gateway, it's almost like the gateway crashes through the silence like a tree falling in the woods. And each of you holds a badge of honor. It has been placed upon your heart. By the unicorn mothers. And the unicorn mothers are bowing their heads to you, grateful that you have taken this journey, that we as a collective consciousness can make a difference, that you indeed are a new earth shaman. a 
a speaker, a leader, a translator of light, a healer, a way shower, a lover, a doctor, an alchemist. a guardian, that there is great pride coming from within you, that your soul is returning to this place of inner knowing, that your answer of your question, of your heart dreaming is Part of this wholeness that you feel, this purpose, this fulfillment, that your life is valuable, is important, you make a difference, your puzzle piece matters. That yes, we are growing, growing together, not separate. Just as the trees, as the mushroom mycelium, we are grounding our connection deeper and deeper. We are opening all that we are. We are transcending dimensions. That our heart is the leader that we have the steering wheel. That this badge that's on your heart is a gold heart with a striped red ribbon that goes around your neck. Red and white ribbon. And Metatron brings a tiny diamond Metatronic cube into your brow chakra. Which allows you to see through To the heart song. That seeing the heart song that is playing is part of the mastery of your avatar of the new earth that you are to bring. That it may not be understood at this now moment, but In the future, you will remember this heart song that you can see through to the heart song. And as you do that in the future or now, you will carry a type of symbiotic loving compassion that brings with it a great sense of grace and a great sense of being believed in and seen for exactly who you are or who they are and that everyone on this earth can feel this, that all troubles can be released into this great sphere that we have helped in the birthing process.
attachment as you become more and more of a channel and grounding the light that is in you and from you. You will find you have words of wisdom to share. You will find that others will ask and listen to you. Ask your advice. Listen to you. Reflect upon it and make new choices that are based upon the universal laws that are based upon divine plan that as we all sync up synchronistically symbiotically telepathically we are the new believers We are the ones we've been waiting for. And our avatar, angelic natures, show up more and more, begin to ground inside the body. To walk the earth. That the new earth paradigm is shape-shifting like molten lava, like the violet mists inside the crystal ball, the violet and the pink. All is moving in a mercurial manner. with your best interest. That everyone will be on this arc, this beautiful new earth as we move out of the density, the polarity into the higher dimensions. And this new earth ship begins to build, create itself, birth itself. The corridors of the earth, the portals of the earth will begin to listen and anchor as that giant crystal alchemical ball that we birthed in Lake Titicaca moves through the corridors of the earth through the many portals, the sacred portals, to the Grand Canyon of creation, to the Havasu Falls in the Grand Canyon, moving through more and more veil walls as these corridors open, as the rainbow waterfall at Havasu Falls in the Grand Canyon opens up interdimensional corridors and greater and greater realms
celestial, galactic, and universal realms. Begin to be addressed. Come on board. Speak to us clearly as our friends, as our allies, as our relatives. As the great family of light that we are begins to shine All the beings of this earth rejoice. All the beings of the universe rejoice. As we are a collective consciousness. We are a unified field of oneness. And we, the new earthlings, are remembering this. We're on a trip home. We're on a trip to that where we have already been creating a full circle to the most beautiful place, which is the heart within, to this beautiful waterfall within your own heart, within your heart temple. that expands and contracts and opens into this interdimensional nature of your truth in your own heart. That you are indeed a galactic universal being who's migrated here through many extraterrestrial colonies, lifetimes, sequences of Earth in its evolutionary patterns and repatterning. But this is an intense and amazingly important time. That the badges you ha hold now in your heart will be your proudest honor. That you are a journeyer. That you find your way back. Not only to your own Merkaba, to the group Merkaba, to the Ark of the Covenant, to the birth of this next level of evolution. That you're part of the co creation. You're part of the plan. There's not been any mistakes. And that as you begin to trust and honor and sing this in the song lines, in the song of your heart, you will know from the resonance this is the truth. And that is the gift. That knowing is the gift, Metatron says. That knowing is the Metatronic tree of life. The continuum of the ever-knowing reflection that you are. Metatron looks deeply into you. And sears this into this diamond metatronic cube that he has given you. Opening the brow chakra, the pineal, the atomic point of consciousness, the zeal point at the nape of the neck. As 
the left and right hemispheres of the brain. Begin to parlay synchronistically, vibrating harmonious, harmoniously with a figure eight. In the stillness in the middle of your mind. And the corpus callosus grows a statement of new consciousness of the continuum of the species. As now new DNA threads are downloading through you, above you, down into the earth beneath you, these threads of DNA are threading you, synchronizing you, harmonizing you. As these circuit connections of self and others, masculine and feminine, spirit, soul, your multidimensional truth, your 1111 reflective balance, your unity and equality in this field all around you, harmonizing and connecting you in your heart, with your mind, with your avatar ascended reflection, bringing your wings out into the open, your true star nature earthed, your magical self in communication once more. doing the new earth shaman work and loving it. Let us send our heart beams out once more in gratefulness and reflection of all that we've received of Mother Earth and all the beings of the earth of Metatron and all of his gifts, of the Holy Mother and her nurturance, Mother Earth and her acceptance and understanding and honoring of us. Our place, your place that you have taken now, you have received and stepped into, your knowingness of this steering wheel that you are, that you have, you may move through time, space, and dimension. And you may bring all that you are and your mastery to the forefront in everything you do. You will find the way. Just ask and receive the answers. We thank you and we bow namaste all that you are and all that you've done just put your arms over your shoulders as we ask Metatron to return us now out of our Merkaba and our group Merkaba spaceships back into our bodies back into our own earth bodies the flesh Kind of wiggling your fingers, tapping yourself or your feet, getting into the body in a grateful state of reflection of your oneness, your unity, the equality, and all that you are. We thank you for all you've done. And watch for new awakening programs for visioning and becoming the new earth avatar that I'm setting up on my website. And I'll be sending them out on my newsletter. So please join my website newsletter, www.anjalia.com, your favorite cosmic shaman. Sending you love. <sighs> Namaste. Namaste, beloved ones.